this video, we're going to talk about multiple fixtures. And if you saw an earlier video talking about clamps and fixtures, uh, you saw this part here. But basically, I just have a simple part in a vise that is cutting this pocket and drilling a hole. And I want to do this in three separate vise. So it's basically going to be three pieces of stock, each with its own corded system. So what we're going to do here is start a new file. And I'm going to tell it that the document type is a multiple fixture and say OK. So the multiple fixture document is basically just a wizard that walks you through bringing in parts and placing them in position. So this is the first wizard that pops up. I'll cancel this just so I can talk about the steps involved here. And fixture ID is um, if you wanted to have a common corded system for a bunch of parts, maybe a, a dowel pin or a hole, and then I have a bunch of parts reference that corded system. Well, in our case, we're going to put three parts in three vice, and they're going to have their own corded systems, 54, 55, and 56. So we can skip past the fixture ID and jump down the parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to a parts list. And here, because I still have the part in my case called delete, that part is still open. It shows up in my parts files. If not, I would browse and go select it. So I'll go ahead and select this part and say OK. And then I'll tell it to add. The wizard looks and says, OK, this part called delete has one setup. And then, of course, this, this file that I create is going to have its own file name because it's a multiple fixture document. So I'm going to let it default to MF2. I'm going to say next. It says, how do you want to locate the new setups? Because I do not have a fixture ID, I do not have the option of going and picking a predefined fixture ID. I'm just going to tell it to create a new fixture for each setup and start with 54. That's UG54. I'm going to say next. Uh, the origin of the first setup, because each one has its own coordinate system, that location is irrelevant. I'm going to tell it that I want two more repeats in the x-axis and this six inches defaults to an inch between my pieces of stock. Uh, it doesn't really matter what that number is uh, because each one has its own corded system which is then the responsibility of the operator to pick up those corded systems. However, it's it's how far they're going to be shown graphically on the screen. So I'm going to say next and the stock is each piece has its own individual block. I'm going to say next. So you can see my three parts here, and then I'm going to say finish. So basically, that's just the wizard. Run through, get some parts, bring them out. You can see each one has its own coordinate system. This will be 54, 55, and 56, which you can see coming down here, 54, 55, and 56. And the only other option here is tool dominant versus part dominant, where tool dominant will keep the tool in the spindle and cut all three parts, then go change a tool and so forth, where part document will totally complete this part first and then complete this part so you get multiple tool changes. But I'm going to go ahead and say OK. I jump over here to isometric view and I'm going to go ahead and simulate in the 3D mode and let you see what happens. So you can see this tool dominant. Finish, finish, finish. Drill, 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 spot drill, and drill. So that's a little bit about how a multiple fixture works. And one last thing I'll show is to optimization because if we wanted to mill down this way, we'd rather mill back this way and then drill, center, spot drill this way and drill this way and so forth. So I'm going to pull out this results window. And on the operations list, there's this little button here, and it's called automatic ordering. And by default, you can see minimize tool changes is on, but I'm going to tell it to minimize the rapid distance. So I'm going to say OK. So it reordered this list right here, if you will. And now if I play, you'll see that it's a little more efficient in the toolpath. Rough, rough, rough. Let's just continue to rough and finish, 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 spot, 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 and drill, drill, drill. 